What is up, Seven Point Family? <laughs> you're gonna smile. It's like your high, high school pose. <laughs> oh, I know I did. On the, <laughs> remember your famous high school pose? In your nice sweater and your stonewashed jeans in, in big, and your glasses. My big, my big glasses. You were like this <laughs> cross leg. Like that. But was I? I was on my car doing once. Oh, yeah, pictures. and then you were on your my car. My car going like this. Yeah. <laughs> Anyone else do senior pictures with your car? Is I, that a thing still? I don't know, man. But Is that a thing? That was a long I did my, freaking time ago, man. I did mine with my dogs. You're my dog. Uh, did um, you? Oh, Shep. Shep, yeah, there Shep. we go. Yeah. Wow. He was a, what was he? He was a miniature, <clears throat> um, like a Sheltie, a miniature Lassie. Lassie dog? Lassie dog. Yeah. So, you were in my <laughs> senior pictures, too. Was I? Yeah. I don't remember that, man. That's, dude, that was a old. long, long, long time ago. That's I am old. It's Are my, we live up here? We're live up here, yeah. There's some oh. of my group. So, what's up, everybody? Jeff, Happy Rhonda. Happy hump day. Happy hump day. Chit Coming at you live from Seven Point Nutrition. Lexi's watching us. What's up, Lexi? Draper, Utah. We're here to insert. pump you up. <laughs> Hashtag inspire, inspire. Healthy living. Yeah, there we go. It has to get inspire healthy living. There we go. Um, we have to have our sign on and sign off okay, thing. So hold what? on. I got it. I have a chit chat for you guys today. This is Rhonda. Okay. Blonde Rhonda. What right. So, <laughs> so what? I think it was on Monday. We were what coming home from working out. What day? Today's Wednesday. I think it was Monday. Yeah, it was Monday. She's like, Pull, I pulled the car in the garage because she worked out no, in the morning. It was yesterday. No, it was, it was, it was just yesterday. yesterday. So anyways, it's either Monday or Tuesday. So I pull in the garage, Ronnie gets out, she says, what the, to you guys. what the hell's a smell? What is that in here? And <laughs> the I'm whole like, garage. The whole garage. And I'm like, S oh, dude, I don't know. Nothing's changed. I mean, the garbage just got, we just put the garbage out. So there's no garbage in here and stuff like that. And uh, so anyway, so last night I get home from the office. Was it last night or this morning? No, it was this morning you told me this. So, <laughs> so yesterday. Yeah, so yeah. you we came, told me. Yeah, we came. So, so finish we're done working out. We got ready for work, you know, we drove and we drive separately to work and I'm driving my Jeep and I have the hood off, right? So it's like convertible and I can still smell this. I'm like, it's in my car. What is this? And I'm looking around and I couldn't figure it out and I parked and I'm grabbing my stuff and then I noticed it. A two day old protein shake, protein shake. with yogurt and banana and, all and protein shit. powder. So. So anyways, so who has done that, guys? Who has left their protein shake in the freaking car? And it was, the reason it stung so bad is because it was open because I had a straw in oh it. Oh my gosh. So gross. like it wasn't closed and I didn't do the whole open it and like see how bad it is. Type oh, thing. Yeah. Like, well, you can tell how bad it is. <laughs> the whole, yeah, so. and I, the garage still smelled this morning. I swear. Anyway, you guys. So don't just throw it away. Drop a comment, guys. Who? Uh, yeah, please throw it. So hashtag throw throw, throw your it. old protein shake. Throw it out once you leave it in your when car. So out, throw it out. Don't try to wash it. So, anyways, that was blonde Rhonda, guys. Now so, I need some new shake. I need some shaker, shaker cup. So, so you can do it again. Yeah. I, mean, I think that's like maybe the second time I've done something like that. Right. Remember the time I remember <laughs> this happened again in my old Jeep? I smell, I was like something in here stinks. And in the back cubby hole underneath like some napkins was a grapefruit <laughs> that rolled out of the big bag from Costco and literally was probably in my car for months. Rhonda for you guys, that's the awesome stuff no, that she does. No COVID here, my sense of smell is yeah, gone. Yeah, that's awesome, that's anyway. awesome. So that's our, that's <sighs> our chit chat for today guys. Um, my other chit chat is, it's my birthday tomorrow, guys, oh, shit. and I'm freaking gonna be old as shit. Don't let you guys don't let me forget. What'd you get me for my birthday? Some, nothing yet. I got nothing it. yet. So I, like, it looks like I'm not getting it for my birthday tomorrow. So <laughs> I like to get gifts that we both use. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, Nicole said, uh, thanks for reminder. I have to, I have mine in the car from this morning. Yeah, but Nicole, please don't leave that uh, in your car. So uh, you're gonna have to throw it away. If you do. <laughs> so anyways, so let's get into it today, guys. I hope my phone, I hope the charge keeps. No, yeah, hopefully it does. So. Time for a new phone. I've had it two years and it's all of a sudden breaking down. Yeah. So let's get into it then. Oh man. Yeah, we've got a few, only a few minutes. What do you want to talk about? What are we talking about? What do we say? Why? Why? Why do our clients see life-changing results? results? Yes. So many of them. It's amazing. But why? Why? What do we do differently, or what do we do in our programs that help our clients see life-changing results? Number one is this: 
we don't make it about the numbers, guys. It is not about how much weight you're gonna lose, how much fat you're gonna lose. Don't get me wrong, that stuff's important, but it's about your mindset. And your why. Your why. The emotion behind it. Your behavior. Yep, behavior and modification. Number three. Keeping it consistent. consistent. So mindset, behavior, and consistency, guys. So that is the reason why, one of the reasons why, biggest reason why our clients see life-changing success. Now, you can lose weight and lose fat and that's success, but is that life-changing? Are you gonna be able to maintain that over time? Maintain the behaviors that got you there. Exactly. And ideally, healthy behaviors, not, you know, a 600 calorie crash diet. Or that's not gonna get you not there. A fast for 72 hours. Even though no. fast, don't get me wrong, they, they can be very healthy for gut health, but if you're doing it in a, as it's, a means to lose it's weight, not too, it's not that to won't lose work. Weight. It's not to, right. to, to, right. to lose weight. Right. Same thing with using thermogenics and different supplements like that. So that is not gonna change the behaviors that need to be modified in order to see success. And you have to be consistent with those changes too as well. Yep. And so. focus on them. So like you said you had a client that came in today and was yes. a little emotional about the results they thought they were gonna have, right? Well, was, they had, they've had a pretty rough yeah. week over the last week. They had a lot, of, a lot of stuff going on personally and they're like, well, and I've had this, I've had this from other clients too. I've had a really All bad week and you know, I just, I, I don't really want to test and, and see where my numbers are at. And of course we get them on there and lo and behold, their numbers are through the roof, right? So in this case here this morning, this individual lost. What do you three, mean through the roof? Well, in this case here, I'll say they lost three pounds of fat. So, so they had success. They had very good success. So the numbers so, were good. Yeah, the numbers are good. It didn't, so they're already thinking poorly as far as mindset that I'm not gonna see success. That's a fixed mindset, not a growth mindset. So again, the numbers didn't support. They're actually better than what they thought they would be. So my conversation with this individual was, you know, you're making it about the numbers and it's not about the behaviors that you have been changing over time and are gonna continue changing over time that are gonna see the true success long-term and be able to keep it off two years, three years, four years down the road. And that's really the key, you know? And I, I think some of that behavior also goes back to just the behavior of how you're treating yourself and your expectations. Yes. Or when you do have a rough week or stressful or an obstacle that comes up, how are you managing through that at the end of the week rather than focusing on the number, right? Because you can have a growth mindset, practice some good mindset skills, be mindful of your choices, but still slip up here and there. But yet, let's focus on the good. Let's focus on what you did well or better than what you maybe would have done in the past. And then and the other side of that too is, <clears throat> whether they're good or bad numbers, they don't define you, okay? What defines you is how you overcame that obstacle that came up that week. Because believe it or not, guys, newsflash, <clears throat> you're gonna have obstacles for the rest of your life. <clears throat> Family-related, work-related, you know, business-related, whatever. I mean, you're gonna have Hormone. obstacles. <laughs> Hormone-related. <laughs> so, uh, COVID-19 related, oh, hopefully not in the future, but again, things, you know, shit happens at the end of the day. And you have to have the growth mindset, you have to have the proper behaviors, and you gotta be consistent with you it. You can't give up. Just because shit happens doesn't mean, oh, I'm gonna give up, yeah. I'm done, right? So I have another example of a client um, where, you know, for she's been a client for six months now, and she's, she's definitely seen some weight loss and fat loss, but her biggest obstacle is her mindset as far as how she views herself, how others people view her, she is not outgoing enough. So that's what the stuff we've been working on. We've been working on, you know, here in the office, and she does see a therapist now too as well that's helping her navigate some of those things too. But she is now introducing herself at to other people at the gym. She's talking to her neighbors, which she never talked to before because she didn't feel comfortable because so she didn't cool. look good enough to talk to them. You know, the, her neighbor looked better than she did, so she didn't feel comfortable talking to her. And now they're having conversations almost daily through text that's and, and so in cool. person. I mean, that's life changing. I was gonna say, how that many? That is life changing. How many people would sit back and actually consider that that is a win? Very few, because they, it's not number related. Yeah. You know, and, and and unfortunately, when you're talking about weight loss and fat loss, people define success by a specific number, and if they don't hit a number 
whether it's weekly or through their process, they give up, they, they stop what they're doing, they blame other people, you know, they don't own it. Just like, um, you know, through this process, you know, it's, it's, it's been a lot, it's been life changing to her, for her to um, take responsibility for where she's at and then own it. Just like uh, this last week, I think she said she had a, a couple of peach cobblers or something like that. So she, mm -hmm. she came in to test today. She's another client that came in today where she's talking about, oh, you know, I had a couple of peach cobblers. It's not going to be good and stuff like that. But here's what she recognized. Well, for, number one, her numbers were good again to today. So I think she was down about a pound and a half of fat as well. But at the end of the day, she talked about how she felt the next day after having mm -hmm. that sugar. The inflammation that she had from that, she didn't have a good enough, her workout wasn't the same. So again, she's referencing back to that behavior. And I like how she referenced how she felt physically yes. from the food she ate rather than emotionally, exactly. like guilt, right? That's a huge yeah. difference. And then if you can relate that physical aspect of what you ate, to something that you you know doesn't fit in your goals, you can now start making plans to improve that and get better and better and better that's over huge. time. And believe it or not, guys, you get another news flash. You know, again, if you're you know if you're truly into the process to change, you're not going to change your mindset in 12 weeks, 16 weeks, and 24 weeks. You know, and see the success you want to see as far as the numbers. It's it's not going to happen. Okay. And what we tell people is this. Progress take, happens. Progress happens. That's but correct. But behaviors and mindset <laughs> are a life. And, it's, and they're going to keep on changing. So two years from now, three years from now, stuff like that, those things are going to keep on coming up where you have to keep on modifying. Not just that, but your goals are going to change in life too as well. Yeah. As your personal life changes, as your work life changes too as well. So, And that's what I love because if someone goes through like how we coach and the intimacy we have with our clients and going through all of this, they're going to have so many tools and experiences to utilize in those next life events that are coming. That's what's life changing. Yeah, that's it's not just about the freaking meal plan. That's why we have seen unbelievable success across the board with all of our coaches, with a lot of our clients, majority of our clients, I guess I should say. The ones who put in the work. Put in the work. It's and not magic. Work. You have <laughs> so. to do the work. Um, and that's the it's a big part. It's a big part of it, and, it, and, 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 and removing the fact that there's a time limit on it. There is no time yeah. limit on your success. That's going to keep on changing and changing and changing over time. So, anyways, guys, um, I hope this resonates with you. Uh, please let us know how we can serve you. Uh, drop us a comment. Let us know what you're struggling with right now. Uh, also, let us yeah. know what your wins are. Yeah. You know, what have you changed in your life here in, 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 over the last two three months? that have been life changing for you. Yeah, or, I, or epiphanies and yeah. eye openers. You because know, be, believe it or not guys, there's other people out there that are struggling that are probably watching this that are afraid to raise their hand up and say, hey, I need help. And seeing people comment and drop notes like that, that hey, I've struggled with this, I've struggled with that, people are gonna resonate with that guys. And that's the coolest, and that's what's cool about this. Yep. And if you're in our lifestyles group up here, this is what this group is for. So share your journey, type in your questions we're all here to support each other and if, if if we're not there to answer right away someone else in the group hopefully will so all right guys let's get out of here have a great day guys we'll talk to you soon <laughs> Bye. see ya